Hey guys, so this is my hair. I actually washed it today. I came back from vacay, but I had um, put matte oil in my hair. So it is a little greasy and I co-washed instead of washing my hair with regular shampoo because it wasn't that dirty. I just wanted to wash it because I was in the airplane all day and stuff like that. So you know me. So this is what we're looking like. Darlene actually cut my ends. It's not perfect because we did it quick, but we did blow dry it. And then she flat ironed it for me. The ends are a little bad. Yeah, we gotta do it. We we just snipped a little bit. My hair is cut in layers. Yeah, so for the first time in my whole life is cut in layers. And so I wanted um to cut the ends a little bit. So I gotta go professionally, but we didn't have time on vacation to get it done. Do not mind my zit. Um so yeah, I promise I'm gonna be working on the hair care routine. Let me know if you wanna see something combined with me and Darlene or you wanna see two separate videos. Cause she could do a curly one and then maybe I can do my hair growth journey and I'll show you guys what I use and stuff like that. So let me know. But yeah, this is what we're working with. Super nice. So really quick, I'm gonna show you how I do my tubi. Usually um, they do it with pins in the Dominican spot, but I do it the quick way because I'm not a pro and I hate when you leave the pins overnight it leaves a dent in your hair and you want to leave it loose so what I do is I take obviously I just combed my hair I'm gonna do it again but I'm just gonna demonstrate for you guys really quick so I cut um do like a little slit comb my hair make sure everything's straight put this cap on okay and start going like this to my hair okay going wrapping it around wrapping it around that's the easy way. Yeah, because which girl, is so much convenient. We gotta buy new um new um, um elastic little, things like yeah, this. The little caps. Yeah. So this is what it looks like. Obviously, I'm gonna do it again. I just wanted to do it quick. And um, you always wanna buy new caps because they stretch out. Yeah. And then they fall off when you're sleeping. Yeah. So, so the tighter ones are better. You can find them in the local beauty supply store, Amazon. I don't know the name of these. Probably like a hairnet or something like that, like a tight one. I don't know the name. Or to be. put like hair cap or something. Yeah. Like different ones will come up. So check it out, you yeah, guys. Yeah, so this will keep your hair flat for the next day. I'm going to actually put a bonnet to make sure it's secured in place. And voila, we done. Hey guys, so hey guys. we are in Jersey. We're doing family fun day today. We're um shopping we're about to go eat i don't know where we're going i think we're going on fridays because that's what we decided but then we're also deciding if we want to go to a diner um so yeah it's my um nephew's birthday this weekend mm -hmm. so we came to surprise them and they're so excited um what else do i want to say we hope you guys enjoyed this vlog i feel like we haven't vlogged in a minute but we were just vlogging the other day I don't get that. Do you feel like that? Yeah. Maybe because we haven't uploaded in a while. Yeah. I feel like um, we didn't upload this whole week. I don't even remember the last time we uploaded. Um, because we we just came from being away. So, yeah. So, um, I don't know. It's just maybe me. I'm just being weird. So, yeah. Do you want to say anything? No, I'm just having a good day. Tomorrow I got to go to work. I don't want to go to work. Yeah. But I got stuff to do tomorrow. I have to do the display and stuff like that. So I work, yeah. It's so it's pretty annoying, you know. Sorry for the bumpy road. As you guys can see, the cameras. That's why shaking. I have my nails on because she has to do a display. Tell me why I got my nails done and they already broke. One of them broke. So in the stress area. In the stress area. So luckily I only paid fifteen dollars for that. You guys will see that in the next vlog that we do after this one. Um, so stay tuned for that. What else do I want to say? Um, I did my hair last night, as you could see in the clip. I did it. Yeah, she did it. I washed it, blow dried it, flat ironed it, and I was going to have an outfit of the day and everything today for this vlog, but it was snowing and raining in PA, so it was gloomy as hell, so I had to change everything up. I'm like, terrible. Which is fine, I mean... I mean, whatever, it is, it is what, what it is. is. As long as I'm with family, that's all that matters to me. So. Yeah, so, yeah, that's what we're doing. We're going to go shopping, too, so. Yeah. Hopefully, I don't overspend because I, I have a habit of doing that unnecessary stuff. That's what 
the hoarder and me does. Mm -hmm. So once I'm I do that budget video next week, I am going to uh, like fully be strict on myself because I find myself wasting too much money for no reason. That's so, why I don't be I don't be spending like that. I try not to. Um, so I'm trying to save. You know, obviously for my stash. And I'm working on the luxury haul for you guys. That's what I'm working on next. Me and Darling found mad stuff that we want. So just give us time for that. Because we want to do... The first one that we do, we try to want... We, we kind of want to do... I'm not even going to say it. I'm just going to do it. But we're working on that. There's mad things that I want to get. And it's going to come from all over the world. So just give us time plus shipping is taking is outrageous lately like, yeah so you know we don't want to just buy a whole bunch of stuff that um we're not going to use just to do a luxury haul if that makes any sense um another thing we want to talk about well what did you want to address earlier just people like saying unnecessary comments to us like yeah, I'm just going to continue blocking and removing people. Well, the Dollar Tree is here. This is the one that I was telling you about last time. Okay, okay if you want to so go. We're going to TGI Fridays because I have a whole bunch of coupons. Yeah, so. Um, I'm going to actually, we're going to ask if we could use them first. Because one day I was just talking to one of my homegirls at work. I don't know what we were talking about. I don't know what she told me. So this guy happened to overhear our conversation and started giving us a whole bunch of free coupons so i have a whole bunch of kids meals and appetizers or desserts for free so i'm like let me just you know the kids can have a free meal and stuff like that you get what i'm saying so i want to see what i'm gonna get because i'm trying to not like eat bad stuff we're at walmart you guys shopping in new jersey We are at Fridays, you guys, so we're gonna try this out and see if we like it or not. Cause we haven't been here in a long time. My niece and nephew are watching me do. You like what I'm doing yes. in the camera? Okay, so Fridays was pretty empty. I think this might be the last time I go to Fridays, unless it's a last resort. Um, those egg rolls, they were Philly cheesesteak. They were so bland, but with that white cheese, 
they were delicious that is the only way that i would get them again the french fries were really really good they were very flavorful um i didn't try the burger but i heard it was good this was my meal those mashed potatoes were so bad and so watered down the worst than box stuff even with the bacon and the cheese it was not good at all so i definitely wouldn't recommend it this uh birthday cake it was for my nephew um he said it was good but i feel like it was too much frosting and that cheesecake was delicious but very very sweet we're going to the dollar store dollar tree and see what we find but mira ese se le está cayendo el tag so at the dollar store you guys they had good stuff but not stuff that i really needed to get like those lashes they're really really good i highly recommend them if you are obsessed with lashes and you don't like to spend a lot of money on them those lashes are bomb they had good stuff but it was nothing that i really needed so i ended up picking up some stuff but i can't even remember what it was it was probably you know like pans and paper plates and little miscellaneous stuff like that but other than that i didn't see much that i wanted they do have these hydro under eye lip masks and gels but to be honest i usually get them from ross and marshall's and the simple fact that they sell them for a dollar for just one and you could go to marshall's ross or tj maxx and pay 3.99 for at least five to ten that's a better steal in my book you got what i'm saying so that's why i didn't pick up any of those and um those power stick shampoo and conditioner are really good. I highly recommend you getting it, especially because in Walmart online, they're like $14 a piece. So, you know, Dollar Tree is stepping up their game when it comes to like products, like hair products, you know, more body washes. They have tangerine, they have strawberry, pomegranate. They had so many different varieties. These sprays as well, they're very expensive online. I think I've shown that before. They're like $12 and they're a dollar at the dollar store. So Aquanet, I could never forget about my Aquanet party days, going to the club. I used to take that spray, man, and the rave spray and just freaking douse my hair with that. You couldn't tell me nothing. And I love the smell on Look at this clay mask tea tree. For the face night lotion marlene really enjoys this i don't know why she got this for her look at all this cute this yeah look i found a planner i'm gonna have to probably get a planner and start jotting stuff down let me know down below if you guys have if you guys can't live without a planner because i know a lot of people can't like my sister-in-law but Oh, I like these stickers. I could put some of these in the planner. This is pretty cool. We're at Kohl's, you guys, in New Jersey. So we're gonna check what they have in here. I think this one might be a two floor because I kind of saw electrical stairs. I saw somebody going upstairs. So we are inside of Kohl's. As you can see in the front of the store, they had this little mini blower and the brush for it, which I thought was super cute. Of course, I like want to buy everything that I see, but I have a good blower. I really don't need one, another one. It's always me, the hoarder in me that just wants to buy, buy, buy stuff. So they had all these products. I never tried the NYC products, the Eva NYC products or the Hemp's, Hemp's Cream. I've never tried that either, but they had a big variety as you can see. This um, Kohl's was popping. I love how they had a big selection of Lauren Conrad, um, like, you know, clothing items. I'm like having a brain fart because I hear a truck outside. It's snowing like crazy here, of course, like usual. So I love the Lauren Conrad clothes, especially the tights. If you guys need new tights and stuff like that, I highly recommend them because they're usually $12.99 and they're really good. They don't go down. So you know how you sit down sometimes in certain tights, they just like roll over, stuff like that, especially if you have like a little big stomach. Um, Lauren Conrad tights don't do that. 
and I just love these earmuffs that she has out and the gloves, the matching gloves. They were super soft. I wanted to get it, but I never buy, I never use that stuff. So it's like I was just going to waste money for nothing. So I was giving the, the stuff to my nephew so that he could take it to my sister so that she thought that he was going to buy it for her because he's so cute. So look at all the bags that she has come out with. I just love them. I love this bag. It reminds me of a wine bottle or like champagne or something like that. And of course, I wanted to get them, but I'm like, where do I go? That's just going to sit in my closet. I love this one. This one was my favorite one just because of the color combination. I don't have anything like that. I thought it was super cute, but again, I don't go nowhere. She has a lot of, lot of bags. And they don't have the bag selection that they had here in New Jersey in our area. So I was impressed by that. The quality of the bags, they just felt like real good leather. Of course, it's not real leather, but uh, they were super nice. We are going upstairs and we're just looking around like they had a lot of nice bedding and stuff like that, like Ugg beddings and a lot of kid clothes and things like that. So we ended up going up there. I didn't really vlog up there just because I wanted to spend time with my family. And then downstairs, they had the Lauren Conrad makeup collection and the skincare, which was super cool to see because I've been seeing this all over social media. But her stuff is kind of pricey, but it was just nice to see all the stuff that she has. She has a lot of lip liners, eyeliners, I think mascara, removing balm, all over balm, creams, and it was just nice. I just love Lauren Conrad. Comment down below and let me know if you guys ever watched Laguna Beach or The Hills. So really quick, I wanted to share with you guys before I use it is this MAC kit that I got from TJ Maxx. I just wanted to show you the price. I paid $15 for it. And this is what comes in it. It's the Prep and Prime a Liquid Lipstick. I gotta show you. I'll put the name there to see what's the name of it and then the lip scrub because my lips have been really really chapped lately so um i wanted to get it just because of that and i thought the color was nice the liquid lipsticks their liquid lipsticks are not the greatest because they do feather out and then they like chip a little bit like in between the lips so for the price i was like let me just get it because a liquid lipstick on its own from MAC is usually $21, so I thought this was a good steal. I wanted to show you the inside because, you know, sometimes I just like to see what comes in the box when I watch other people's videos. So this is the liquid lipstick, and this one is called, hold on, Feels So Grand, and it's so pretty. I just love this color. And this is the swatch right here. As you can see how pretty it is. And then this is what the Prep and Prime looks like. And this is for your lipsticks not to feather out. So I'm excited to try this out. And then this is the lip scrub, which is pretty cool. I didn't think it was going to be this size. I thought it was going to be smaller, to be honest. Right off the bat. I'm not sure how good I'm going to like this. It looks like more like of a Vaseline undertone. So I'm going to try it out today and see. I'll put a note right here and let you know how I feel about it so far. But this is pretty good. They have another one um, in TJ Maxx. It's more like a burnt, like brownish orange liquid lipstick set for $20. So I'm still waiting for that to go on sale because you already know. I like to save my money and I like to buy stuff on a budget. So check out my Instagram because I always post a lot of videos of TJ Maxx stuff or stuff that we find on sale. So make sure you check out your TJ Maxx because I know some people that I follow on Instagram, they found this set for $7.99, you guys. If that's not a steal, I don't know what is. Look how bomb this color looks. Hello, guys. What's goody? So today we're vlogging, you guys. We are in Jersey. Well, first we're in Dunkin' Donuts. We are doing Family Fun Day, so we we're hope you guys enjoy this vlog. Yes, and we're gonna combine two Family Fun Days 
that we um, have already um, in the archives. We hope you guys enjoy it. We're going to go shopping. Of course, we always go shopping and just spend time with my nephew. It's his birthday, so we took him out. We're taking him out today. And, um, yeah, what else do you want to say? Um, we haven't we filmed. We hope you guys are blessed. We haven't filmed in a while. In a long we'll, time. We'll discuss that soon. Why? And, yeah, stay blessed, you guys. And we hope that you guys are all doing well. And keep doing you. Hi, can I get three uh, refreshers, one strawberry and then two uh, medium, all of them? Can I get one strawberry and then the other two passion dragon fruit, if that's the name of it? So one strawberry dragon fruit and then one, or two pink passion fruit? Sure. Yeah, yes. No, that's it. So I wanted to show you guys really quick the planner that I got. I got this planner at five and below because I didn't like the one that they had at the dollar store. So I got this one and uh, I want to start off small with a planner. I could personalize it the way that I want myself. This was five dollars, I believe. Um, I've never had a planner a day in my life. So I'm going to see if I get into planners because sometimes I feel like I have to write stuff down even though I have like a phone, my notes that has the stylus pen and I could jot down notes there, but I'm the type of person that I like to have stuff written down like in a notebook. I don't know if you guys are like that because you never know if you lose your phone or something like that. You know, I always like to be safe than sorry, although I've never lost a phone, thank God, but you never know. So I want to start seeing how I like this and if I do find a good use out of it hi woody say hi to the people if i find a good use for it then i'm gonna get like a bigger one from like tj maxx ross or marshall's hi guys so let me just show you real quick what zach and his wife sent us thank you so much for sending us something and you know we're just so grateful when you guys send us stuff you guys know you don't have to but we just love the writers that actually do Say they're going to send us something and actually about that life. Yeah. Um, so, so thank you so much. So let's get into it. So, so here we have some pore cleansing mask from Freeman. You guys know, they know us so well. We love Freeman. Open this more. She's going to open that. We have a card right here. I'm not going to show it. So I got to read that. Oh, they send us one each. Oh, snap. Wow. So I get mine too. This is a uh, tea tree hair oil, sulfate free, paraben dye free. Oh, wait, hold on. Let me show you this one then. OMG, thank you so they much. They know I love tea tree. I love wow. peppermint. Wow, you guys are the plug. You guys are the real freaking plug. Not for nothing. OMG, this is how I know. Look, I need to... Hold on a second, okay? This is how I know these people ride with me. Anybody that knows me personally knows that I cannot sleep without one of these. If I don't have this, I have to use my arm or I have to use my blanket. And I've been wanting to tell you that I'm going to get one of those. What? Yeah, because the light is bothering me in my room. and You guys, I always have to sleep with one of these. I am so happy because I got mine from the dollar store. And they work very well. But after a while, the elasticity, it just like gets like uh, loose. Out, yeah, right? so, oh my God. I'm so happy about this. We have some Beauty Sleep Silk. I don't know what this is, but it sounds interesting. And then we have, I want to say, I want to say these are pillowcases. OMG. This like mauve rosy pink. Oh my goodness. It Thank matches so the mask. And we have a gray sleep mask right here. So we got to fight for colors now. And we have another one of these. Yo, y'all the real plug. Y'all the real effing plug to I match I the can't. eye mask with the pillowcase. Wow. OMG. Nah, like, nah, nah, I am nah. so grateful for this. Nah. 
No. It's just little things like this. I needed new pillowcases. I just bought some from the dollar store, but after a while, you have to throw them out because they're only a dollar. So I am so happy. Oh my God. Thank, thank you, you so, so much. much. We are at the Short Hills Mall. There goes the Cheesecake Factory. We're going to go to afterwards. And then look at Macy's. Okay, you guys. So as you can see, we have entered the mall. We actually came on a good day because it was empty. There were so many stores, you guys. We really recommend this. And we're actually going to go probably next month or maybe april because we have so much that we want to buy the lady was so nice and so um we recommend they go on a day where there's not that much people because the mall is big so here as you can see we have entered mac there was nobody in the mac store and the girl was like you can't film in here so i'm like she was kind of rude to be honest like she was not nice like the vibes i was getting from her it was not nice. I think we went on a Monday, maybe. Yeah. And I think we went on a Monday, so it was really empty. Yeah, Monday. Um, we decided we wanted to go to the LV store, but there was such a wait. Um, and then we did register to get an appointment with them, but we ended up going to... To Neiman Marcus, and we and bought we, a whole bunch of stuff. And by the time we got the text to go to the LV store, we were still being, you know, helped at Neiman Marcus. So I was not going to leave, you know, the stuff that I bought just to go to LV because they didn't even have the bag that we wanted. Yeah, so we decided to go to Lush. Lush, it was a nice store. The experience was nice. They let us film in there. She was really nice, very helpful. But I find the products are overpriced. I'm not even going to lie to you. Um, she was convincing me to get this face cream. A little tub was 50 something dollars. And I'm like, heck nah, I'm not spending that money on that. And it's just like... You know, I have good products that I'm using, Kiehl's and stuff like that. They do have good products, but they're overpriced. That's all I'm going to say. So that little tub right there, that little small one, for the face was 50 something dollars. I was like, heck nah, I'm not doing that. Let me know down below if you feel the same. The stores were super nice, super clean, um, a lot of space. They have so many stores, Chanel, Prada, LV. Steve Madden, Kate Space, Michael Kors, you name it, every store is here. I recommend if you are going to go to the store, you have to have a lot of patience. You have to wait. Um, you have to have a lot of money. Um, this was Steve Madden. I really was tempted to go inside, but because I don't really go out, I was like, I'm not even going to do it to myself. We knew that if we went in there, we were going to spend money. So this is where we are in Nordstrom, right? No, Neiman Marcus. Neiman Marcus. So... You know, look at these Louis Vuittons. Like, I... Look at the price. Look at the price. Again, I don't go out, so I was like, I don't need to buy that. These babies right here, though, those babies, not those. But uh, Chanel, they had so many nice um, shoes as well. I love those to go to work and stuff like that. You guys are going to see all the stuff that we bought. Um, we are going to go back, like my sister said, because... We want to buy more stuff. We didn't want to buy everything in one time. And the reason why we didn't want to do that is because I don't know about Cha, but I'm always obsessing with my bank account. That's the first thing I look at in the morning. Here, we're going to go to the Cheesecake Factory. I just wanted to show you. I hate when my bank account takes a big major hit when I buy something expensive. So that's why we were doing everything in increments. So this juice right here is a strawberry lemonade. My brother got a Coke and my sister got a cucumber lemonade. They were very, very sweet. Um, it's best if you get like next time we go, we're going to get one and share it. My brother got the pineapple pasta it was so good the spinach artichoke dip was amazing super super good the pizza was amazing as well so we got cheesecake this is the reese's uh cheesecake right here which looks amazing we have red velvets and then we have key lime pie comment down below and let me know which one is your favorite cheesecake from cheesecake factory so we ended up going to Mac as well. We both got a little bag and we ended up going in there with no intentions of buying anything. But of course, we both ended up getting something. So let me show you really quick. 
So this is what I ended up getting, this perfume right here. And it's called the Tur Turquotic, I think. Um, and I ended up paying 34 through $36, around that range. Actually, let me check the receipt to give you a detailed price. Mine's was, no, this one is Mars. I think $35 for mine because I don't have my receipt. I have it in my wallet. And I ended up getting these two lipsticks. These were 40% off, so I only paid $12.60 for it. And then my sister ended up getting the bigger one. This one was um, $65. We ended up getting 15% off each. And then she ended up getting this uh, lipstick right here. And this is the name of it. If you can see it right here, super nice. So I'm going to take it out the packaging so you can see it. And then these are mine right here. And they're super, super nice. These are mattes, but these are a softer matte. So they're not going to be harsh on the lips. Don't mind my table. This is from Hookah and doing my nails on here. So I'm going to show you real quick what the um, lipstick bullet looks like. Look how beautiful this color is. Oh my God. It's just gorgeous. It's something that we don't have in our collection. So we wanted to get this. This one was a little pricey, $21. But... She got it for cheaper because we got 15% off. If you sign up with them, you get, I think, um, birthday, free birthday gifts and then points when you go shopping, if I'm not mistaken. So she just had to get this one. This one is gorgeous. And these are the two other colors that I got for myself. Look how beautiful. Don't mind the heater in the background, but look how gorgeous. I don't have any of these colors, so I needed to pick these up. And these were 40% off really quick. I just wanted to show you look how beautiful it is snowing look how bad Like literally It's like covering almost all the bikes Look at that. Isn't that crazy? But beautiful at the same time. It's been snowing Yesterday all day and today. I'm surprised we're not barricaded But it's gonna be snow until tomorrow Look how pretty.